Well, President Park Geun-hye is now in Kuwait, the first of four Middle Eastern countries she plans to visit this week. This is the first time in eight years that a Korean president is visiting the country. Now there, she aims to expand Korea's economic cooperation with the region beyond the usual oil and construction projects. Arirang's presidential office correspondent Choi Yoo-sun files this report from Kuwait. Since Korean businesses started winning construction projects in the Middle East in the 1970s, the region has become Korea's largest overseas market for plant construction, generating nearly 40 percent of total orders received. Korea also depends heavily on oil imports from the Middle East. During our trip, President Park Geun-hye will seek a more diversified and deeper economic cooperation with the region to bring about a new growth engine for the Korean economy. Speaking to reporters prior to departing Seoul, the president said that in preparation for the post-oil era, the Middle East is seeking to diversify its oil-centered industries and improve quality of living through developments in education, health care and infrastructure. She says this fits perfectly in line with her three-year economic plan to spur growth through innovation and structural reforms. <laughs> So when President Bak meets Middle Eastern leaders this week, she will discuss expanding Korea and the region's economic cooperation to include health care, IT, education and culture. The cooperative relationship will also develop from simply providing the region with labor and infrastructure to sharing knowledge and launching joint ventures. President Bak is scheduled for back-to-back -back meetings with Kuwait's Amir, parliamentary speaker and prime minister on Monday. While economic cooperation will likely dominate their discussions, President Bak also plans to seek Kuwait's support behind the North Korea and unification policies. Choi Yusun, Arirang News. Kuwait City.